Anyway, we have to touch the last topic um, as well. It has to do with the anti-open grazing controversy. Again, uh, it still involves, because the Lagos State Governor has also only, only just assented to the bill on Friday as well. Uh, because we are pressed for time, let's quickly touch that and then we'll take your calls and feedbacks and messages. In fact, let me just run through some of the messages I have here ready. Um, this one says, I am testing from Lagos. I'm originally from Anambra State. The president has failed our region. He should restructure this country so that the national cake will be shared equally. I wish to see this country remain one in mm -hmm. unity yes, and harmony. Thank you so much uh, for sending that. Uh, this one says, the South East leaders would have arranged themselves to meet with the president when he was visiting the region. Instead of doing that, the consent stayed away, he says. Um, another person here says, Prince Arrow from Worry, I really enjoy your program. The president has nothing to offer, so it's all about politics, he says. Thank you so much uh, for your thoughts and your comment, gentlemen. So the open grazing issue, gentlemen, um, September 1 was the deadline for the southern governors to pass the law. But then, today is uh, September 11. Mm -hmm. Only Ondo and um, Lagos. And Lagos have taken the lead. So I asked the question, what is happening to what, to the, the, the deal, to the, the United Front they had when they met as um, governors? Um, it's, 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 um, it's something that uh, each governor will explain by themselves. Some will tell you that because they are, their state house of assembly needed to look at the bill properly to assent to it and all those things like that. But like I've always said, even in this forum, the doctor will remember way back, I've always maintained the fact that cattle rearing is a business. And government has no function in interfering in private business. That's one. Secondly, I am 100% in support of that bill. Because that bill will create more jobs than you can ever think of. A lot of people just look at it, oh, it, 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 it is going to be of economic, serious economic viability to Nigeria as a nation. Cattle rearing and cattle, or put it, simply put it, animal husbandry is a very, very regulative business. You, it's, you don't need to carry these cattle all around the place and all those things. If okay, you structure so them in one place, mm. if you structure them in one place, you'll be able to get your dairy farms. You'll yes, be able I, to get I, all those other yes, things. I, I think and we, I know, we've, we've gone about these issues. And I know I'm coming. The issues on ground now is the fact that Mayor Tiana has requested. The, 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 let's discuss their position and their request. The, the position of Mayor Tiana was that uh, it will make uh, the, 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 the the, the sales of cattle, it will make cattle highly expensive, it will do this, it will do that. It will not. Even if it's going to do it, it's just going to be for a medium term. You see, on the last scale, at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation for this country. So, Mayor De Allah had better just dig their socks down and get down to business because mm. it's supposed to be a win-win situation for everybody. All right, all right. Doctor, why, why do you respond to this? Discuss the federal government's position of trying to discover those roots, uh, you know, investigate those roots and all of that, and how that can help solve the, the controversies and issues on ground. There are even no roots again. Those roots have been existing since when? Mm. All right? Even if those roots still exist, must we continue the way we have been doing things before? If, well, because, if we're, we are being, because we're very traditional and cultural. Yeah, we to what extent? To uh, what we, don't, extent we don't want to let go of our heritage. To what extent is, heritage. is that <laughs> culture compliance to the dictates of 21st century? To what extent? My brother, I have been to where cattle have been, have been uh, husbanded in, uh, in Holland. Mm. Okay, in Holland. You need to see the way these areas, these secluded areas are, and the kind of activities that were happening there. Okay? Unlike here, when you now travel from Katsina down to the west with your cow, that cow will have lost a lot of even nutrients that are good 
for human consumption. Okay? It will have even lost the kind of tenderness that that meat is supposed to give rather it become so hardened. It's just like it's just like you comparing comparing somebody that is being real, a human being that is being real under the under the bridge, and somebody that that grew up from an exclusive place. Okay? Well, what, when you what, look what, at what that, will be a Jack, a Jack Butter, what will be a Jack Paco? Do you, uh, exactly. Well, uh, Jack Paco will be very strong. Do you, do you understand? <laughs> do, do, do you get what I'm saying? But what, and then you will see, you will see that a Jack Butter contributing meaningfully to the economy than the one that is a Jack Paco. But, that but, one is believe but, but, in. I'm not, I'm not sure that a Jack Paco's out there will be very... No, 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 no. Let's see. <laughs> very yeah, no, 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 no. It's, it's not about, it's, it's it's not about, it's not about <laughs> that. We are just trying to to yeah, paint a picture, a picture, a picture of scenario. the way it looks like. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. When you go and take a cow, a cow that is being that is bred within an enclosed environment, and another one that have been traversing a space all over all over uh, uh, a period of time, you're going to see the difference. Are you going to see the productivity? And that is why right today. With the amount, with the numbers of cows that we rear in this country, we have not been able to gain you know, the economic value of it in comparison to other other areas, other regions that are not even having up to half of the numbers of cows we have, but they have their own within a secluded right. area. Do you, yes. do you know, do you know I, that? I, I will come back to you, gentlemen, for your final thoughts on this. Um, let's see if we can just take some feedbacks as we begin to round off on the conversation because uh, I understand that we're absolutely pressed for time. So as usual, ensure your language is uh, TV friendly when you call and um, ensure that um, you move away from your TV set to just turn on the volume of your TV set completely. There are a number of messages here. Let's see if we can read through some of them. Uh, okay, I think we've taken some of these ones already. So let's, let's take some calls. Yes, thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. What's your name and your location, please? All right, go ahead, please. I want to say is that the topic that is going to answer the first thing. Number one, on the list of the people who sound. The one to do is to do whether I call the devil or I call the devil. The president, the other, that is that. They're supposed to talk about the of the and resolve it. Number two, on the of cattle, that cattle is a very business. But look at how many are in it. They are not what it is. But when they are operating to bow their head down and to follow the routine. Okay. Um, we always ensure that we have this deal. When you call, ensure that your language is TV friendly and then so that you don't use some words to describe um, some certain persons. Everybody's entitled to his or her opinion, but ensure that you adhere to the rules as we round up on the conversation this afternoon. Yes, thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Hello? Yes, thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for your thoughts. Uh, this, let me take this message here again uh, from Bolo It says, I give high commendation to southern state governors for signing the anti open grazing bills into law in their respective domains. They should, however, not stop at this. The provisions of the laws themselves should be made very stringent in order for them to be effective. I desire a situation um, where defaulting herdsmen will be made to go to jail without an option of fine. Also, the arrested cows should not only be forfeited to the government, they should also be slaughtered. <laughs> Their meat made barbecue of and distributed among people at the motherless babies' homes and the poor masses on the streets 
for feasting. Yeah. Thank you so much, Volumade, for yeah. this. Gentlemen, we have to round off our conversation now. Uh, maybe your final words, uh, Stephen, as we round off. Yes, uh, finally, I will, I, I will say that the first and foremost, the issue of uh, the anti-grazing law is very, very important. It is not targeted, at, as far as I'm concerned, it's not targeted at a particular group of people. I expect everybody to take a good look at it very well and see. Cattle rearing is a business that everybody can participate in. Right. It's not an exclusive preserve of a particular tribe or tongue or ethnic nationalities. Right. If, we, if we can all understand that and go into it, just like poultry farm, just like a pigry and other aspects, they are all aspects of the, the, the ag agricultural sector and they are very, very important. All right. We all need it. Thank right. you very much. Thank you so much, Stephen. Now, uh, uh, on, on, on the first one, I will want the president to please change the status and ensure that we all live as one people in right. this country. It should also take steps to discuss with leaders of secessionist groups and all that, people that are trying to agitate for one thing or the other, discuss with them, know their needs and aspirations. Now, on the issue of uh, the governors, they shouldn't play politics with this. Mm. Don't say because I want to be the next president or I want to conduct a presidency, then I will not be talking about it because the president might not like it or these people might not like it. So they should all go ahead long and ensure that. Then on the issue of grazing, we should all understand that Nigeria now needs to be compliant to whatever is happening within the 21st century nations. And to round up, either we like it or not, I can assure Nigerians, Nigeria, will be greater again. Uh, we do hope so. Dr. Dio Kaudre, political technocrat, and Stephen Ayer, public affairs analyst, thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on the show this afternoon. Thank you.